I apologize if I ruined anyone's hype for Dr. Ratio because I want to discuss a serious topic today. I want to talk about the worst people I have encountered so far from my experience in Honkai Star Rail that have either stolen my work or have attacked me. So yeah, as a relatively new content creator, these experiences have made it hard for me to make content and I just don't feel safe making content. And I'm even scared of talking about my experience in this video now, but it's been eating at me for months. So I'll just say my piece and leave it at that. We got content police on high patrol today. So I woke up to find a nasty comment. However, this is a small fish in a bigger pond. And there are more serious misinformation and accusations that I want to clarify in just a second. So if you guys didn't know, I made a video about gold and gears and that got a lot of attraction. In the video, I did a condensed showcase of a run using my strategy in combination with a strategy that I referenced from shout out to Nagfrog to showcase that his strategy is overpowered. I gave Nag all the credit. He commented and applauded my video. And if you don't know who Nagfrog is, he's a very talented guide maker. I saw one of his videos a couple of weeks ago. And to show my support, I said this clear and concise explanation. You should do character guides. You would rock. However, we got a few people coming into my comment section saying that this strategy originated from CN. Because in the video, I said Nag's strategy is good. Nag. Your, uh, your strategy is kind of insane, dude. The most insane strategy discovered by Knackfrag. He's an awesome guide maker, and I credited the strategy to Knack, which in my opinion is still correct. Knack was the first to pioneer the shop strategy in Global, where I saw it first. But I said if someone can link me a CN source, I will credit them as well. So I ignored it until someone provided an actual source, like a CN creator that did the strategy, which I said, okay. I looked at their content, and they did go over buying out the shop strategy, which fair enough. I was like, okay, that's fine. I updated my sources to include them as well. So shout out to Better Than Nothing. The quality of their videos are amazing as well, and they're very much God tier. And so yeah, as seen here, I credit them as the earliest usage of this strategy, and Nax Guide as my reference for my showcase. More importantly, people have the right to provide other sources as well. And I do my best to exercise due diligence and correct my sources because I know what it's like to write a guide or pioneer a strategy and have it remade and not get a single credit for it. Now, this is where it gets spicy. As you all know, I am a free to play content creator for the most part. I mean, I mean, I do have three accounts and, you know, a whale and two free to play, but, but, but that's not the point. But if you were here when Swarm Disaster first came out, you probably saw this thumbnail. This was my Swarm Disaster Guide, a very unique strategy using F2P characters and the Path of Remembrance. At the time, people knew the Path of Remembrance, but not many people played it. So the combination of this F2P team plus the Path of Remembrance was quite unique. Sadly, back then Herda wasn't the most built character like she is now. So when I released the strategy, it was the first of its kind and it popped off. Until of course, a fewer bigger creators started to write very similar guides, claiming it was the best F2P strategy using fairly similar teams and explanations one to three days after mine this is what most people would consider a proper way of yoinking and twisting youtube is a beautiful cesspool of inspiration remixing riffing parody drawing on existing ideas is a great way of making something new and unique it's only wrong when you add nothing and try to pretend it was yours in the first place and you don't have to cite your sources like a rocket scientist either however this bigger creator artumbo did not yoink and twist but instead he just joined. He just straight up stole my guide without an ounce of credit, gaining as many views as the original guide, while my video has to essentially compete with my video. How did I know that he stole my guide though? Oh boy, let me tell you, this guy would make the absolute worst criminal. Like I'm talking about like the type to rob a convenience store while asking if they sell ski masks. Okay, so two to three days after my guide was published, Artumbo releases his Swarm Disaster Guide, where he went ahead and used the exact character and the exact path that I did, the path of remembrance. So obviously that's already a red flag. However, a bigger piece of evidence is that in his guide, he brags about how he's able to clear content while his Herda has level one traces. Unless you have a cracked Herda. I didn't level any of her traces up pretty much and you'll see that in the build section later. So he decided that his unbuilt Herda is good enough to beat Swarm 5. Like you just don't go, oh, let's just use my unbuilt Herda who I never played in my life before to beat Swarm 5 unless you've seen the strategy before and you saw the limits of how the strategy works from someone else. Well, you're probably like, okay, well, Zeto, maybe he had some spidey senses about Herda and maybe he tried the strategy 
all day to understand the ins, outs, and limits of it in order to make a guide in one day. <laughs> no. Like I said, this idiot would make the worst damn criminal in the world. He had to go and brag that this is his first attempt. I think it was my first attempt. And if you do have them built for damage, like a Herda, I will be building Herda for damage, but right now she's not. You can't make this up. First time Herda, first attempt, exact same team as mine, same relic strategies to run uh, characters typically with their most tanky stats. So defense body, defense orbs, uh, HP orbs. You do want to be building all your characters with an HP or defense body and orb because you're not trying to deal damage. You're trying to survive. You do not need any damage percent you are trying to survive. Same blessing priorities and he's not crediting a soul? Lord, he's either a liar or he is the second coming of Jesus. No, no, no. Actually, you guys are right. Let's give him the benefit of the doubt. So let's say he got all of that first try and God told him everything he needed to know about the strategy beforehand and that it was just a pure coincidence. He used the exact same F2P team as me. Can't get any worse, right? Can't be any more ridiculous, right? Don't worry, this will either blow your mind or get you laughing like crazy because of how stupid I am. While testing, the boss resisted quite a few of my freezes. And so I felt like it was, it was, uh, you know, I just, hey, you know, hey, it's about 100%, you know. But data on the boss wasn't out yet at the time. If it was, what I said still wouldn't make an ounce of sense. Because the boss has two separate resistance multipliers. One, that is the effect res, which it has 50%. And the other, debuff res, which it has 75%. And we can't just add these two together because they're multipliers. They're multiplicative values used in the formula to calculate the real chance of freezing your enemy. So neither are almost 100% by themselves. And even if we calculated the effect hit rate of our main freezes, either with March or with the path ability, I'll pick March in this case since she has a lower base chance of 65%. And with these very generous assumptions, we would get a 29% chance to freeze. And if we take the inverse, it would mean the boss has a 71% chance to resist freezes, which isn't close to or almost 100%. So I just proved to you guys what I said was, <laughs> yeah, made up. And I was stupid for saying something like that without understanding the intricacy of the formula or seeing the actual data. But you know what's more stupid? The guy who regurgitated my bullshit! Because it pretty much has 100% resist against crowd control. Has almost 100% resistance to crowd control. It's only wrong when you add nothing and try to pretend it was yours in the first place. You can't make this up. The crazy part is, if I said the right thing, or if I said something vague, like the enemies have a high chance of resisting freezes and he copied me, then I wouldn't have caught him because it would be too vague or he would reference real data. However, because I said some bullshit and he thought I actually knew what I was talking about, he copied my bullshit and snitched on himself. You can't make this shit up. <laughs> I don't remember who said this, but one point on the graph doesn't mean much. But when you get multiple points and it starts to draw a line, well, I'd say if you ain't bald yet, you're starting to bald. This is what happens when you literally copy almost everything from someone else's guide. So if his channel was already way more successful than mine, why do it? Why not give credit, but instead go as far as to steal someone else's guide? The answer is this. Artumbo copied these people because he thought what they were doing was beneath respect. Plagiarists seem to have this belief they are better than their targets, more important, more deserving of credit, better politics, a better class of person. Your ideas are wasted on you. They'd be much better served in my videos. And that's the answer. Thanks, H-Bomber guy. He sees other creators, especially smaller ones, as beneath him undeserving of their own work or respect. He's afraid that his viewers will see his low quality content mill, compare it to other creators and decide, hey, I wanna watch them instead. Stealing ideas from others and not crediting them. It's a great strategy to double fuck your smaller competition really. Not only do you get their ideas, but now they have to compete with themselves. Seto, you research for days to find out the unique strategy, but I deserve it. Not you, you're beneath me. So your work is my content now. And the ironic part is, I used to watch Artumbo's videos. As seen here, I commented on his Asta video. He even responded, so I know he definitely knew about my channel. But yet he still stole even from his viewer. 
banking on the hope that I remain silent. And yeah, he was right. I was a coward and I remained silent for four months. Getting doubly screwed over like what our tumble did to me really makes a creator not want to create any content. Because if you put out something and he copies it, now you're competing with yourself. And it ate me up for months. After that incident, I really wasn't motivated to make content. And so there was a big 20 day content gap between this video and the next one, right? And that feeling sucks. And I don't wish that on anybody. And so I try to do my due diligence, crediting Knack and Better Than Nothing when I did my showcase. Because it's important to respect others instead of seeing them as beneath you. Instead of stealing their flowers. And the grim reality is this. The only way to combat someone taking our work is to talk about it. And let the public, let you guys, the viewers, decide for yourself if it's wrong or not. So that's what I'm doing. All I can do is to share my experience. And yeah. But why now, Zeto? Also, you're making it sound like he's doing this to other creators too. Or you have at least another example, right? That's where the climax comes in. But to truly experience the climax, we must first understand how I got attacked by a bear behind my back. So as you guys probably saw in the thumbnail, little bear, drama certified, he's back again. You thought... He would learn from inciting drama in the public space with Mr. Smack. Oh no, oh no. He's back on form, ladies and gentlemen. He's back. He went from policing misinformation to policing content between two creators who did not have any content issues. Even after Nack commented, applauded my take on the strategy, and gave me his seal of approval. Content police certified still had to accuse me of stealing Nack's video. That I remade Nack's video. Look at the tone that he says this. Nack Frog, did ZMM just remake your vid? Frog emoji. What do the pains mean? Nack himself did not fall for the drama bait. He said, yeah, I got credit. All good. And then he says, I'm sure there were plenty of people who figured it out anyway. I was just the first to share it. So the Giga Chat himself doesn't take the bait. Oh, by the way, instead of doing this privately, forgot this was public certified, said all of this in a public Discord chat, the StarDB general chat. You can't make this shit up. Like you can go look at it right now and it's there. And when I called out the backstabber for it, he just said, oh, back reading, nervous Pepe emoji. So he thought I wouldn't catch his ass in 4K. Unlike you, I personally reached out to Knack in private, even though he said he was all right with it, even though he said he, he told you it was okay. I made sure again, because that's the right way to do it. And he said this, no, that's all good. There's no way I can lay claim to a way to play the game. I enjoyed watching your take on it. Quite entertaining. Appreciate the shout out. Man, I've never seen so much Giga Chat energy in my life. Also, Guoba claimed that I remade the video. I just referenced the dice strategy and mixed it with my own teams using the preservation team to do the showcase with my own take on it. Like Nak said, I enjoyed your take on it. If you just watched the first 35 seconds of the video or saw the credits or looked at the comment section where Nak approved of it, you would have realized there's nothing to police here. And even if you didn't see the video, why are you putting my name in your mouth? Where is mind your own business certified? when you need him but instead we get attack in public certified it's ridiculous what is wrong with you imagine if woba said this shit in public space behind someone's back like tectone mtash brax he knows it would be game over for him so he gotta do it to a smaller creator like me but hey you picked the wrong dog to ruffle the fence with today I remember how he told Gotcha Smack and his Discord that he didn't like replying or being part of drama, that they can get their views, I'll do my content. Yet he goes and falsely attacks another creator's content just to get what? Eight Ayaya emotes? That's more pathetic than getting views. The hypocrisy and ego of this guy is bigger than No Man's Sky. It's like I'm endorsing a smaller creator and Content Police Certified drives by and says, sorry, I don't like this. You gotta go to content jail now. Gotcha Smack said it best. You expect it from the randoms, but you don't expect it from another content creator. The ironic part is no one is saying this. Like none of you guys who watch my videos are saying this. And not even randoms did this. Except Guoba, who is arguably the top three biggest Star Rail creators. That's the mind blowing part to me. Like a creator would risk their whole entire reputation to stroke their ego over others. This is poor form, little bear. If it's two things I hate the most, it's people that put others down to make themselves feel better and people telling me what to do when they don't have the right to. All right? So my friend was right. It doesn't matter what Woba's opinion is, as long as Nack and I have no issues with it. This reminds me of that, like that one soul dude 
who literally self-insert himself into Tectone's business to incite drama when Tectone and the other creator already hashed it out. It's called steak and eggs. You like that? And my opinion of you changed because I was like, okay, well, when he's not talking about Genshin, he's not making a fucking clown of himself. So he's. So you're probably wondering, Zeto, why did you put Artumbo and Globo in the same video? Well, you guessed it. They are creators that have supported each other on multiple collabs, and they have commented on each other's videos constantly. So we know that they are friends, at least on the creator level. And in that case, one, Wobble Certified got a friend who steals, remakes videos, and does not credit. And two, we all know that Content Police Certified loves to call out people in public for remaking videos. Well, 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 send me to Facebook Live and call me a conspiracy theorist, but there might be a correlation here. If you ask me what 1 plus 2 is, I'd say 5. And that brings us to the climax. Our tumbo is doing it again? The joink and our tumbo? Say it ain't so. Okay, so someone tipped me off and says that Artumbo posted a video of the same exact strategy that I referenced that Knack made and stuff like that. And it's the same strategy that you saw Guova saying I stole. He's doing that right now. What a surprise. It's the, yeah, the capitalism strategy that Knack wrote and that I credit Knack. But the funny part is he didn't credit anybody on this. He didn't say, hey, I saw it from here. <gasps> What am I looking at? I'm pretty sure he's not referencing anything because he thinks we're all beneath him, right? You know what? Let's go ask Guoba. Ask Guoba about it. So yeah, I painfully watched the full video and he used the exact strategy that Knack provided and even labels one of the chapters capitalism. It doesn't mention Knack at all. It doesn't link his YouTube or say it anywhere. So the very same strategy that Guoba accused me of stealing and remaking from Knack, even though I gave everyone credit and Knack approved, is now being taken by Artumbo who didn't reference anyone. Not even CN players. This is your guy, Guoba. Wait, I know. Let's check Discord. Maybe Content Police Certified condemned Artumbo like he did me in a public Discord chat, right? Not this one. Nope, not this one either. Actually, here's a good idea. Hey, Guaba, at Guaba, did Artumbo just remake Nack's video without an ounce of credit? No, no, I'm not that petty. I'm not that... <laughs> When I asked Knack about our tumble taking the strategy he pioneered without crediting anyone, he said this. Sadly, I figured that kind of behavior would be more common than not. So I was actually surprised to get mentioned at all in your video. So yeah, our tumble would rather step on them, take their belongings, and claim it as his own since we are basically beneath him. Double standard certified. You held me a higher standard than our theftbo? Calling me out for endorsing and crediting other creators, but not a peep at your friend who steals from the smaller creators you champion to help? And back to the climax. Well, Guaba, since you're such a champion of the smaller creators, you also know our story and you love calling people out in public for remaking videos, I would be so happy if you can call out your friend Arthumbo. And maybe in one of your guys' meme craft collab, you can ask him, Hey Arthumbo, did you steal ZMM, Knack, and other creators' videos? And please, please do this publicly, because you seem to love the clout. So now Guaba, that's what pain really means. Not being credited at all for your work and having it stolen. My professor once said, when you climb that ladder, don't pull it up. Hold it down like how others have held it down for you. And I've learned to cherish those words, passing down the torch and helping others like how others have helped me. So for Guaba, I hope he learns to be more self-aware. He's a very talented and hardworking guide maker. I hope he can grow his ego into an ego that has self-respect as well as respect for others and avoid going down the wrong path. So yeah, that's my story. I don't know. I guess I just felt like I was falsely attacked by a bigger creator for doing the right thing while the real criminal got away. I highly recommend checking out H Bomber Guy's video on plagiarism. It's probably the best video essay I have seen. And since I joined quite a bit of H Bomber's clip, it's probably not going to be much, but I will be doing what he did and splitting the revenue of this video to the victims that Artumbo has stolen from. If you feel like he has stolen from you and you have evidence, feel free to message me on Discord or send a comment. Overall, I was really stressed when making this video 
50% of me just wanted to let it go. The other 50% was like, are you really going to be a coward again and let these guys keep on doing this and potentially have to deal with it again in the future? Then I realized if I don't try to stop these guys now and share my story, they're going to repeat this again to others. And like H Bomber guy said, we can only talk about our experiences. It's kind of lawless out here on YouTube. So the only judges are you guys, the viewers. And the only thing I can do is just to share my experience and let the judges decide. Thank you guys. I appreciate all the support that you guys have given me. The community has been great. I just can't thank you guys enough. And I'll do my best to be a better creator. Okay, bye now. Bye, bye. See ya. Have fun building your free Dr. Ratio. Bye, bye.